Hey guys, Miss Mandy from Huntsville Madison County Public Library here coming at you with some STEM, which if you don't know stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Sometimes I throw an A in there for art because art can be scientific sometimes. So today, this is our first week of summer. Our first theme is fairy tales. Now I know what you're saying. If you're a guy, you're like, oh, I don't care about fairy tales. Fairy tales are cool. They have knights and kings and things in them too. But today, we're going to talk about a story that could have gone much better with a little stem. And it's Rapunzel. Now, you may think you don't know the story of Rapunzel. Have you ever watched Disney's Tangled? That's Rapunzel, okay? So, we know the story. A princess trapped in a tower by a witch. She has this long, luxurious hair that she braids and throws out the window for the witch to climb up because there's no door. So that's how the witch gets in. Rapunzel throws down her hair, the witch climbs up, and then she climbs back down, okay? Well, the story goes, a prince came along. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. So she did. So there's her hair. He's using it to climb up the side of the tower. Well, the witch finds out and cuts the hair off and then they can't do that anymore. You know what though? That story would have gone a lot better. A little science, technology, engineering, and math. Because you know what? Rapunzel needed a pulley. That's right. All of that could have been saved if she had a pulley. Now, in case you don't know, we're going to talk about what pulleys are first, and then we're going to make one. Okay, so we're going to break it down. Let's first do the science in the STEM, okay? Pulleys are a simple machine. Simple meaning, well, it's just really not that complicated, okay? Now, pulleys work together to lift things. Pulleys make a load feel lighter, so less force or power is needed to lift the load. So anytime you see a tall crane like that, it's using a pulley to lift something up out of a ship, or maybe it can lift a car in a junkyard, a lot of different things, okay? Pulleys have a wheel, and that wheel usually has a groove in it because you want your rope or chain or whatever to stay there and not move around and come off track, okay? So you've got your wheel, you've got your rope around it, okay, or chain. So a rope or chain goes inside that groove to help move the load. So see, there's a pulley in that hook lifting that heavy load. Okay, that's the science. What about the technology? Pulleys give a mechanical advantage. The load is on one end of the rope, and then there's a person on the other end. And as the person pulls on the rope, the pulley helps them lift it up. Okay. What about the engineering? Pulleys move elevators up and down. The elevator car is the actual load. So that's the thing you're trying to lift. It's usually got people in it. This is why there's a limit on how many people are supposed to be in there. It is attached to a metal rope, okay, or a cable. That cable goes from the top of the elevator way up to the top of that building where there's a giant wheel with a groove that takes that cable or metal rope and puts it around the wheel. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think I could lift an elevator full of people, no matter how many pulleys they had on that. That's why they're lifted by motors, okay? So a motor provides the force that lifts the elevator. So think of it like a really big car engine up there in the ceiling of a great big building, and as that you push that button to go up, the engine cranks on and shoots you straight up there. Okay, how about some math? So we talk about STEM, ends with an M, math. Very heavy loads need a compound pulley, meaning not one, but two. It's compound, it has more than one. So that's all it means, it has more than one pulley. The pulleys work together to lift the load. Well, each additional pulley makes the load feel lighter. So the more pulleys you have, the heavier thing you can lift with the least amount of force. So that's your math. If you got something really, really heavy, you have to figure out how many pulleys you need to be able to pick it up, okay? So if you use three pulleys, you can lift a whole lot more weight than if you just had one. Unless you have a motor, like an elevator, and then you can lift a lot. Really good example of a pulley, fishing pole. 
You ever gone fishing? You crank on the rod, you know, rod and reel. You crank it, you're turning the pulley. And the pulley is what lifts the fish up. So there you go. You've used pulleys before probably, didn't even know it. All right, so we've got Rapunzel, who could have solved a lot of her problems with a pulley. And we're gonna make one, okay? TP roll, toilet paper roll, okay? You need that, you need some string. A long piece of string will do, any kind of string. And then something you could use as a bucket. You might have a teeny tiny bucket with a handle that you could just tie the string to. I did not. So I took a plastic cup, poked a hole in one side, poked a hole in the other side, put the string through it and tied a knot. I made my own bucket, okay? And I filled the bucket because we need a load, right? We need something weighty. I filled it with office supplies, paper clips, binder clips. You could put rocks in it, whatever you want to put in it just to give it a little bit of weight because that's the whole point of a pulley is to lift something. Now, you need something round. I have a tiny mallet. You could use a broom handle. You could use, a pencil would work, but it'd have to be a pretty big pencil. Rulers will not work because it's got that corner, it's gonna mess you up. So broom handle, something round, okay? Toilet paper roll, you slide it on. You can hear my cat, he's singing in there. Okay, so we've got our string, okay? You're gonna take your string. Now we don't have grooves in this. That's one thing that would really help this situation, but that's okay, we're working with what we have. So you're gonna wrap it once, then twice around your toilet paper roll, okay? And then your load is on one end of the string. You take the other and you are the machine that's gonna pull it up. Oh, see the toilet paper roll start rolling? All right, I gotta get the slack out of it. I'm gonna take it high. Okay, here we go, you ready? We're gonna lift the load. Oh, look at that, <gasps> a pulley. This could have saved Rapunzel so much heartache if she could have rigged this up in her room and the prince could have held onto the bucket and she could have just lifted him right up. No need to use her hair because how bad would that hurt? Somebody pulling on your hair? No. And then she got a haircut she didn't want. So, you know, those are always bad. So that is how you make a pulley. It's a very simple machine because this up here is our wheel, our toilet paper roll is our wheel. So remember, you get your string, you pull on the string, and you can lift a load. So there you go. You just made a simple machine, a pulley. So that's all I got for you today on the STEM, Rapunzel needs a pulley. So until next time, see you guys later, bye.